The communications plan is not passive. It's an active, dynamic part of your deployment. Who are you going to talk to? Do you trust them? Do they know what to do if you miss your communications? Technically, physically, can you speak to them? Do you have the means? Mobile, landline, pigeon, satellite. You know, can you actually speak to them? It's key you've got that link to them and you know that it's going to work. I was recently working with um, a really great journalist who was out in Ethiopia, which can be a really difficult place for journalists to work for a number of reasons. But anyway, we set up a communications plan with a, a local journalist who was working there. He said, look, you know, it's very likely that I'm going to be detained for a number of hours. That's normal. So if I miss this call in, don't worry, it's fine. If I'm not in touch by this time, you should start getting concerned at that time. And if I'm not in touch by this time, I'd like you to call this person, this person, and this person, and they will start to work out what's happened to me. And they will start to get the cogs turning to help me out wherever I am. Um, and it was true, and it worked. It certainly gave the individual who was traveling, reporting, it gave them a bit of assurance that someone was on their side. Um, it gave editors a little bit of assurance that when this guy wasn't in touch, that actually it's quite normal up to a certain window and it's after that they need to start getting concerned and it's after that you know people start need to actioning things on on their behalf whose tree do we shake where do we start where's the breadcrumb trail if you don't have that in place you miss your communication you know you've got no overdue procedure you just vanish you know if you've been detained by government you're gone we don't know you know, we're not expecting you to call until you're home two weeks' time. Um, your family aren't expecting to hear from you. So in that two weeks, you can move an awful long way without anyone knowing where you are. So with your key contacts, whether it is your editor, whether it's your security advisor, whether it's your mum, your dad, your best friend, a fellow journalist from a different organisation, um, it doesn't matter as long as you have shared with them the information they need, where you're going, who you're with, what time you're going to call in, what information you're going to give them, and then what can they do if you miss that communication? How long should they leave it before they start triggering that plan you've developed with them about who they're going to contact, what else they're going to do to try and support you should things go wrong?